Santa Lava. <coughs> Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to Morning Glow. Welcome to another time in the presence of the Lord. It's going to be a great day. Powerful day, awesome day. Let us ascribe greatness to our Lord. The rock, his work, is perfect. All his ways are just. He is the God of faithfulness without injustice. The God who deserves our worship, who deserves our praise, the God of honor, the God of glory, the God of grace, the God of the God whom we ought to magnify at all times. We lift up our eyes to him from whence comes our help. Our help comes from him who makes the heavens and the earth. We choose this morning to make a joyful noise to him because he is the God who deserves it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This morning we praise him. We magnify him. Psalm 150. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and the harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Jesus, we magnify you this morning. We make great your name. We celebrate your goodness, your faithfulness. Thank you for coming to die for us and shedding your blood on the cross of Calvary. Thank you for washing us with the blood of redemption. Thank you for writing our name in the book of life. Thank you for giving us hope. Thank you for giving us eternal life. Bless us this morning. Let the heavens open upon your people. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be glorified. Let your hand be stretched. Let there be glory. Let there be power. We magnify you today. We celebrate your goodness and your faithfulness. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We oh, praise the Lord. We'd like to welcome everyone this morning. We celebrate God's grace and God's goodness. We thank God who kept you by his mighty power. Uh, except the Lord build a house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman wicked, but in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, sit up late, eat the bread of sorrow, so, so he gives his beloved sleep. Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the children of the womb are his reward as arrows are. Praise the Lord. It is God that kept us. It is God's grace. It is God who works in our life. We welcome every one of you from wherever you have joined. May you be blessed. May you be blessed. May you be blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus. <clears throat> Amen. Dacula, Georgia, welcome this morning. God bless you. Walton Cross, blessings on you, Jesus' name. Woodford Green, be blessed and highly favored. Queens, New York. The Lord bless you today richly in Jesus' name. Workshop, blessings on you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oswestry in Shropshire. God bless you richly. Talishkaya. Taros Kibirosha. Kandiri Pokoso Taliri Kaibo. Custom House, East London, the Lord bless you richly. United Arab Emirates, be blessed, be highly favored. Pets, Word, and Kent, God bless you richly. KT, Texas, blessings. Magboro, Ogo State, Nigeria, blessings. Bulawayo, Zimbabwe, the Lord bless you richly. Natide, Kosoriande. Uh, Waskotan in the Netherlands, the Lord bless you this morning. Lesotho, the kingdom of Lesotho, blessings on you. Saskatchewan, Saskatoon in Saskatchewan, Canada, God bless you this morning richly. God bless you. Uh, Togo, Lome, God bless you today, blessings on you. 
South Buckinghamshire. God bless you richly. Lilongwe, Zimbabwe. No, 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 I beg your pardon. Lilongwe, Malawi. Blessings on you today. Newton Heath, Manchester. God bless. Ngong Hills in Kenya. God bless you richly today. Camberwell in Southeast London. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. May you be highly favored. May you be lifted. Côte d'Ivoire. The Lord bless you in Ivory Coast richly this morning. Freetown, Sierra Leone. Blessings on you. Clapton, London. The Lord bless you. Halo in Essex. Blessings. Lansing, Michigan. Blessings on you, Jesus' name, today. Karoto, Ziana, Kedosh, Kayedera. Hackney, London. The Lord bless you. Uh, Cordoba in Spain. Be blessed, be highly favored. Community 18 in, in Accra. God bless you richly today. In Jesus' name. Basingstoke in Hampshire. Blessings. Blessings. Maidstone in Kent. Be blessed, be favored. Hunt Hill, Southeast London. The Lord bless you richly. Etokaba, Koshorara, Roni Kayara, Lamte from uh, Ghana. God bless you, Lamte. Jesus' name. Uh, Chinese quarters in Birmingham. God bless richly. Sutton in Surrey. God bless. St. Paul's Bridge Tolbilla. Blessings on you today. May you be highly favored. Canada waters in London. There's the Docklands. The Lord bless you this morning. Uh, Windsor in in Canada. Okay, Windsor, Canada. God bless you. You Canadians, you've taken all our British names. Sometimes one has to be sure it is somewhere else. Catherine from Uganda, the Lord bless you this morning. May you be favored in Jesus' name. P Portsmouth in UK. Blessings on you, Jesus' name. Maledish, Kaeda, Boroso, Taya, Ondo Town. The Lord bless you in Nigeria. Camberwell, blessings. Madina, Accra, Ghana. God bless you richly, richly. Yenaki, Kuzonte, Edmonton, London. The Lord bless you richly. Etan, in France. Blessings on you. In Jesus' name. Hounslow, Southwest London, the Lord bless you richly. Ye koto breka leji brozo kareko. McCarthy Hills, Accra, Ghana, God bless you. Finsbury Park, North London, be blessed and highly favored. Fairfax, Virginia, God bless. Cardiff in Wales, blessings. Uganda, Kampala in Uganda, God bless you richly this morning. We celebrate the goodness of God in your life. Tulsa, Oklahoma, God bless you. God bless you. Hiroro, da 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 in the UK, the Lord bless you this morning. Worry, Delta, Nigeria. Blessings on you. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. Hoxton in Hackney, God bless. Edmonton in North London, blessed. Dublin in Ireland, be blessed in Isle of Favor this morning. Finsbury Park, may you be blessed. Yaoundé in Cameroon, God bless richly. Cavanchan. Kaduna State, Nigeria, God bless. Bedfordshire, blessings. Victoria Gustes in Spain, Dios te bendiga. God bless you richly this morning. County Kerry in Ireland, blessings on you. I'd like to welcome everyone who's joining us today. We speak blessings on your life, favor on your life. Kumasi, Ghana, blessings. Tedford in Norfolk, blessings. Camden Town, the Lord bless you. Brussels in Belgium, Diogo Benis, we celebrate each one of you, St. Elizabeth, Jamaica. Welcome you, we trust the Lord that this morning the grace of God will come upon your life 
every declaration made into your life will become the reality of your life. God will give you testimony. God will give you favor. God will make his beauty magnified in your life. The hand of the Lord will show. No word spoken into your life today will fall and die. Rather, it will have and gain manifestation. Not only will it gain manifestation, it will gain traction. It will move fast. It will move quick. Uh, he said, I'm watching over my word to perform it. It shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the holy name of Jesus. Riko talariko telerika yererishka yerarara. Yerarara terero shende yeliba. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 31, I believe it is. Uh, let me get the scriptures right this morning. Praise the Lord. Chapter 23, verse 29. Jeremiah 23, verse 29. This morning, if you are just joining us, we are praying and we are speaking into your life. We are making prophetic declaration into people's lives. I will be believing God that the word which will be spoken into your life today will come to pass. Jeremiah 23, 29, is not my word like as a fire, one, said the Lord, and like a hammer, said the Lord, that breaketh rocks in pieces. The word of the Lord today will be fire to consume every negative that have come against you. In the mighty name of Jesus. The word of the Lord will be like hammer to break every ice, every rock. Everything that is standing between you and your testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus. God will honor his word. God will honor his word God will move mightily. God will do amazing, incredible, unusual things. In the name of Jesus. This morning, the hand of the Lord will be stretched out to do awesome works in your life. So we see what the word can do. Yesterday, we began to look at what the word of God does. Number one, the word of God has the power to reveal. It has the power to reveal. Can reveal things that are hidden, things that are obscure. They stay everywhere the enemy is trying to hide, to hurt you. God will reveal it, expose it in the name of Jesus. The word of God then has the power to refute, to make nothing what the enemy says to refute lies, to refute philosophies, to refute ideas, to refute suggestions from hell, to refute what your mind says. Because Satan is a liar and the father of lies from the beginning. The word of God has power to refute the lies he speaks. So God's word will work in your life. Word of God has power, thirdly, to reproduce. Jesus said the word that he speaks is like a seed. Luke chapter 8, verse 11. It's like a seed. And when seed is planted, it produces. Everything God does, he does it through seed. We saw this yesterday night in Bible study. Tonight, I believe God. I mean, this morning, I believe God. That the word will reproduce in you, reproduce victory, reproduce testimony. The word of the Lord will bring forth in your life, will bring forth your prosperity, your healing, your deliverance in Jesus' name. The word of God, according to 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 25, has the power to redirect to redirect for you were continually stay straying like sheep but now you have returned to the shepherd and guardian of your soul the word of god has the power to redirect it is this same word that will take a prostitute and convert to christ it is this same word that will take a sinner and convert to christ it is this same word that will take a lost person and bring them into the fold
every complete life, it can change, it can turn, it can clean, it can heal. When you begin to read the word of God, something will happen. You will find your life totally redirected. Your philosophies will change. Your mindset will change because that's the power of the word of God. The flower fades, the grass withers, the word of the Lord abides forever. That word, so the word of God is like water to wash us. It says, beholding yourself in the mirror. That's what the word does. It adjusts your life. It makes you see what you need to redirect. When you don't have Christ, you allow other philosophies. They come in and they mess up your belief. They mess up your mind. When you have Christ, your life takes a different turn. The word of God, fifthly, has the power to revive it has the power to revive. David said in one, Psalm 138, verse 7, In the midst of trouble, you will revive me. How many believers have been weary, discouraged, disturbed, thinking their life is over. But when the word came, it revived, it energized, it strengthened. Lekaba tosho yeneke kosoro kaba telerosoka. When people have read Psalm 23, in the times of trouble, their heads have been lifted. Their eyes have seen. We have learned from experience that when we are at the point of death, but when we pick up the word of God, it gives life. Oh, glory to God. Listen, listen. Let them keep knocking the word of God, but they know the truth. Alexander Charles Darwin's theory, uh, theory of evolution has never comforted anybody. Those who are stuck on their television, their TV guy, their, <laughs> their remote control has never comforted them. It is the word of the Lord that brings comfort because the word of God is life. The word of God is health. The word of God has power. The word of God brings deliverance. The word revives. So that's why David himself said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Then later I said, he comforts me. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He, 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 he quietens my soul with his word. He brings peace to my life because there's so much trouble in our world. If you don't look for one, people look for one for you. People cause you all kinds of issues, all kinds of battles. But the word of the Lord, the word of the Lord, the word of the Lord is your source of encouragement, your source of strength, your source of grace, your source of favor, your source of testimony in the name of Jesus. The next thing about the word of God is that it has the power to reword. Hebrews 11, 6. It has the power to reword. Romans 1, 19, 20. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and he is a rewarder of them who diligently seek, seek him. The Bible tells us that the creation and our conscience are two different things. So when you come to God, you must believe he can reward you. He can walk in your life. He can touch your life. He can bless your life. We find God in the word. We find his will in the word. We find relationship with God in his word. We find power in his word. We find salvation in his word. God's word is that which he has spoken. We cannot rely on what somebody else brings up. The world is full of all kinds of religion out there. And I, my heart bleeds when I just think of the fact that when you read the history of how some religions began, one person just said he had a revelation and uh, he started some and people begin to follow. They don't think of the eternal consequence. One man decided, okay, I'm going to bring Hinduism and uh, Islam together and make a religion. And that's how Sikhism came forth. Started by, uh, what's his name, Guru Nanak. If I remember, Maji. 
my comparative religion at all. It just started something, just meshed two things, two philosophies. And there you have millions, millions. Ah, the power of the word is that it is only in Christ that we find salvation. This morning, I prophesy on your life that this word of power will walk in your life, will bring you hope, will bring you direction, will bring you meaning, will bring you grace, will bring you favor. So this morning, as you have joined us in Morning Glow, is the morning of declaration. We are making declaration and we're declaring into your life and what we declare shall come to pass. What we speak into your life shall become the reality of your life. The power of life and death is in the tongue what we declare into your life shall come to pass. The Bible says, Earth, 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 hear ye the word of the Lord. So everyone within the reach of my voice this morning, hear ye the word of the Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Declarations which we are going to make into your life this morning shall become established. They shall stand. Your eyes will see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Your mouth will testify. This morning as you have come to Mount Zion, to the place of the goodness of God, I prophesy into your life. I make a declaration into your life this morning that your ears will hear good news. Proverbs 25, 25. As water is to a thirsty man, so is good news from far country. You will hear good news in this season of your life. We're coming to the end of September, the end of the first of the ember months. I prophesy good news, good news, good news before the end of this year. Each of the four months remaining, good news, good news, good news, good news. Good news of favor, good news of promotion, good news of lifting, good news of your children blessed, good news of your husband blessed, your wife blessed, your household blessed, everyone connected to you blessed. In the name of Jesus, you will hear good news. This morning, I prophesy, I make a declaration into your life that every contrary voice that has been speaking into your life we go into the realm of the spirit. We silence them. Rather, you will hear good news. Their contrary voice is silenced. Voices contrary to your health. Taka koki kaka. Because especially said it don't mean it must stand. God says you are healed. The doctor says you will die. Whose report will you believe? The counsel of the Lord shall stand. The word of the Lord shall stand. Tale kabaronoshki and deriva kasa yetalare. The word of the Lord shall stand. The counsel of the Lord shall stand. The word of the Lord shall stand. The counsel of the Lord shall stand. In the name of Jesus. Every negative voice, because voices carry power. We told you the power of the word. Every negative word, every, every evil word, contrary voices. God says you will prosper. They say you will die in poverty. We silence them. God says you'll be healed. They said, ah, this is genetic sickness. It runs in your family. You will get it by 50-50 chance. We declare you get healing and health by 100% chance in the name of Jesus. Oh, this is a kind of sickness that happens to black people, to white people, to brown people. We cancel by the blood of the Lamb. They say, we have checked, we have observed. We've done a thousand, three thousand cases and all rhyme and they say the same thing. Not your case. I command health, healing, 
Every negative, contrary voice is silenced in the name of Jesus. Negative words that have been spoken or you have spoken, today we make a declaration. We superimpose the counsel of the Lord above the negative words. We superimpose the counsel of the Lord above the negative words. We superimpose the counsel of the Lord above the negative words. We superimpose the counsel of the Lord above the negative words. In the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. Tayari kadi kaliba rota liba babra dota di karere reda rama baba ba hiri alara hikarara babo hishkalere reba harikere reda ba hibaro voice words carry power words can lift words can put down but this morning. The word of the Lord are pure words, are silver tried in the furnace of the earth, purified seven times. Every lie from hell that have held you down, I break its grip and power. Every philosophy from your father's house, your mother's house, from your country, every lie, every they said, they said, if I do this, they said, if I do that. Some people said, some people said, somebody said that I've held you in a chain in a box i break you free from this morning you're coming out of boxes of limitation by the voices of men ah the counsel of god it shall stand the counsel of god it shall stand it's not my word like hammer it's not my word like hammer this morning the hammer of god's word breaks the box the chain of negative words that have held you down in the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of be free. Every voice you hear at the back of your mind that holds you in a place of limitation. Today I cancel them by the blood of the Lamb. Only the word of God will stand, only the counsel of the Lord will stand. Irarasha, Rico Sukayada, Zika Libro Cosi, Kita Kato Sita Libro Tozandi, Rico Toji Kaito Libra Kasi Tota Libarita. Every voice of opposition, every demonic voice of opposition, every satanic voice of opposition. Every unclean voice of opposition, we silence them. We go into the realm of the spirit. We take their tongue out. We cut. Exodus 11, 7. We pull their tongue out. We cut. We cut. We cut. We cut. Voices of opposition. We cut their tongue. 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 You don't know that you can't speak without your tongue. So the Bible says that no tongue shall wag. It means we should cut the tongue. So this morning, Exodus 11, every voice of opposition, every negative word, every contrary voice that have spoken against your destiny, I make a declaration that is above them, that in your life only the counsel of the Lord will stand. What is the counsel of the Lord? His counsel for your health is that you live in good health. Isaiah 53 Matthew 8, 17, 1 Peter 2, 24, ah, Exodus 15, 26. What is the counsel of the Lord concerning provision? It is that you should prosper and abound and increase in blessings. Deuteronomy 8, 18, Haggai chapter 2, verse 8 and 9, Job 36, 11, Isaiah 1, 19, 2 Corinthians 9, 8, 2 Corinthians 8, 9. So this morning, every contrary voice, contrary to your prosperity, we go into the realm of the spirit. We cut their tongue. The voice that said your great-grandfather was poor, your grandfather was poor, and you will be poor, have made a mistake. You only came through those people to the world. You came to fulfill destiny. Your destiny is a destiny of greatness. Your destiny is a destiny of favor. Your destiny is a destiny of blessing. Your destiny is a destiny of abundance. Your destiny is a destiny of lifting. You have come to Mount Zion. And upon Mount Zion, the Bible says, there shall be deliverance. 
Hey, he said, I will be the one that make those who love my purpose to prosper. This morning, only the counsel of the Lord, only the counsel of the Lord will stand in your life. The voices that are contrary to the voice of the Lord in your life, we wash them away by the blood of the Lamb. Negative words that have been spoken from when you were a baby, when you were not even conscious, to this day by teachers, by parents, by guardians, by anyone, by uh, employers who looked at you and said, you are so useless. You can't do anything. Ah! Today we cancel, 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 we cancel. By the blood of the Lamb, we cancel. By the word of God, we cancel. By the blood of the Lamb, we cancel it. Dalibaya, Rekotoza, Malikita, Tararita, Mararita, Karorota, Eribota, Janika, Erikeboko Salidi, Dirada, Abadadida, Rikata Koso Talaba. In the name of Jesus. Ah, contrary to what they said, people who saw you and mocked, people who saw you in need and mocked. I lemo imbale he kuda rikeba wherever you are please say amen powerfully this morning I make a declaration you will eat food right in the front of your enemies you will live well in the presence of your enemies you will do good in the presence of your enemies thou preparest the table before me in the presence in the presence of my enemies and when God prepares the table is not one one dry loaf of bread and water with it to grab your bread and dunk <laughs> we call it dunking when you take bread and and do the uncivilized thing of dunking it in, in chocolate drink or, or tea dunking ah no 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 when god prepares a table there's too much there are four varieties of chicken ten varieties of rice three varieties of salad six liquor <laughs> Thou prepare rest. Thou prepare rest. You will be spoiled for choice. Kaya, Teka, Rika. This is more than first class buffet. This is heavenly buffet. Thou prepare rest. 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 Ayaka, Hikaka, Harata, Taraki, Kabaro, Shkaida, Haribedusi, Helikariba, Harikarido, Habranita, Leremadusa, Hikarinita. This day I speak blessing into your life. Every negative word that has been spoken, every voice of opposition, you know them, you don't know them. They are alive or they are dead because words can continue to reverberate. Even when the speaker had gone, every curse that came from the word of a mouth, for of a man, every man that has spoken, contrary to your future, this morning, upon this altar, we cancel such voices. We negate their words in the name of Jesus. We make this declaration into your life this morning. That only the word of the Lord will stand in your life. And the word of God is beautiful. The word of God is good. The word of God is great. The word of God is uns unusual. That's why the Bible says we should study it. The word of God is, is the mind of God. It is the word that spoke the universe into existence. It shall bring your healing. It shall bring your health. Bigger, greater than medicines can do. Receive health this morning. Somebody will say, how can the word make me prosper? Believe it first, then act on it. You'll be amazed. Everyone within the reach of my voice that is in the place of struggle, I speak into your hand today. I speak favor. I speak abundance. I speak grace. I speak favor. I speak abundance. I speak grace. I speak favor. I speak abundance. I speak grace. Atali kida. Nedika. Glory to God. Ah, glory to God. Sometimes the way to see and know a, a prince or a person of royalty in some parts of the world is that they wear, you know, something like this, but all gold, or, no, all uh, beads. But I just saw in somebody's hand, gold, gold. So whoever you are this morning, God is changing your, 
your ashes to beauty. He's changing your mourning. He's tearing off your garment of mourning. And he's putting upon you beauty. And he's taking away the spirit of mourning. And he's giving you the spirit of praise. You are shifting. You are moving. Not into earthly royalty. But into showing and demonstrating the beauty, the goodness, the greatness of Jehovah. Receive it this morning. 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 I see somebody who has been in a place of waiting and fasting and waiting and fasting and waiting and fasting and waiting and fasting. I can't see the face, but I see that they lifted a bag full of all that you have asked for, but much more than what you, ca you have asked for and handed over to you. You will receive your blessing. You will not miss it. There will be a manifestation in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. There's a person on the platform this, mon on th this morning. This is very strange. It looks like one of your organs is either producing fluid or even leaking the fluid. Whew. We lay hand on you this morning. By Christ's stripes, you are healed. We rebuke sickness and disease. We command supernatural health. 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 We command your health. We command your healing. I see a woman, she's really very terribly worried because I, I think it's either her husband or one of their children that have just been diagnosed with a major issue and she's just so worried. She's just so worried. I lay hand on you this morning. I command your total health. I command your total healing. No weapon formed against you prospers. Every mouth that rises against you in judgment is condemned. This is your heritage as a child of God. Be healed this morning. Be delivered. Be set free. The Lord's joy fills you from today. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. I see a person, I don't know what it is that is causing it, but I see you are blowing yourself. Your body is just going through all kinds of issues. I don't know if it's just natural, menstrual, I mean, uh, what do they call it now? Whatever they call it for women, menopause. But this is not, it's a health issue. I see the person blowing frantically. I see, if, okay, I think it could just be high blood pressure or something. I lay hand on you today. Whatever name it is called, our solution in our God. Receive your health and healing. From today, power of God touches you. Power of God touches you. Power of God touches you. Power of God sets you free. Power of God touches you. Power of God sets you free. Power of God touches you. Power of God sets you free. Power of God touches you in Jesus' name. Victory belongs to you. Victory, testimony is your portion in the name of the Lord. Kayene koza, reto kayete, rinoshkaye, brakozo libra, li karete, ri kotosa, rika koshetaye kale kaba. I see a revelation, I see they put food in front of a person. And he tasted, he tasted bitter, and he, he's pushing it away. And he said, why should I eat? This is bitter. I will not eat the food of bitterness. But then I heard the word say, it is bitter in your mouth, but it shall be sweet in your belly, just like the experience of Jeremiah. Somebody on this platform, you've been through a season, or you are going through a season, the word of the Lord to you this morning is that when it is all over, you ate the food that seemed to be bitter, but your testimony will be so massive, so awesome, so great. You need to write down this prophetic word. Don't even say anything negative before the Lord, like, why am I going through this? Why did you allow me to eat the bread of sorrow? Go through. No, 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 no. It is part of the process. You are going to come out like gold. You're going to come out with testimony. You're going to come out like gold. You're going to come out with testimony. You're going to come out like gold. 
Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because I was just wondering what is this? I see, I see, I see if, uh, somebody's in Dubai Marina in a boat going around. And what is this? Holiday, what is it? And the Lord is saying, get some, tell somebody on the platform, get ready to travel. God is going to take you from place to place. Not in trouble, but to be able to go rest. Have a good time. Enjoy yourself because the blessing and the favor that will follow your life will be such that you even tell yourself, now I can live the life I've always wanted to live. The door is going to open. God is going to make it happen. Glory, 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 glory. Oh, wow. <laughs> and this morning I see, I see there's an outbreak of miracles at our November crusade. And they were bringing the people forward for us to be able to see that so they can give their testimony. Hey, we received that. We received that. I received that. I received that. I received that. Miracles, 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 miracles in Jesus' name. Oh, glory to God this morning. Glory to God this morning. We make declaration one more time. Every voice of opposition is silenced for your sake. Every negative word that anyone spoke, thinking it shall stand right before their eyes, your life will be opposite to what they said. Every contrary voice that have taken the time to curse you, to attack you, heaven silences them, their voice is silenced. They will speak and no one will hear them. In the name of Jesus, contrary to this, I speak into your life today. May your voice be the one that is heard in the four corners of the earth. Your voice will be heard. Your voice will be heard. Your voice will be heard. Your voice will be heard in the four corners of the earth. Your voice will be heard in the name of Jesus. Your voice will be heard for blessing people. Your voice will be heard for changing lives. Your voice will be heard to make impact in our world. Your voice will be heard. Ah. In the assembly of those who are giving testimony. Your voice will be heard. 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 In the gathering of those who are testifying. Your voice will be heard. Among those who are proclaiming that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Your voice will be heard. Among those who are declaring to the world, Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. Your voice will be heard. Your voice will be heard. Among those who are making noise to the world and letting the world know that Jesus saves, your voice will be heard. Nali kikusu kake keke keko rotali mahadishka hakusha rikusi ratikuba. Your voice will be heard. Your voice will be heard. Your voice will be heard. Your voice will be heard in the name of Jesus. I speak into your life this morning. I declare into your life this morning. I make a declaration this morning into your life that God will enlarge you to the left, enlarge you to the right, enlarge you on every side, enlarge your dream, enlarge your vision. Every feeling of negativity you have had will lift it off your life in the name of Jesus. Peace, joy increases. Divine enlargement is your portion. 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 Divine enlargement. Enlarge to the left, enlarge to the right, enlarge behind, enlarge in front. Divine enlargement is your portion in the name of the Lord. Kati Kosoya. Zika Litoraya. Zama Koto Piketa Libro Tozoya. Riki Koso Kaki Kiku Ta 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 Ta. The God of enlargement will enlarge your dream, enlarge your vision, enlarge your dream, enlarge your vision, enlarge your dream, 
enlarge your vision, enlarge your destiny, enlarge your life, enlarge your dream, enlarge your vision, enlarge your destiny. In the name of Jesus, David said the the boundary lines have fallen onto me in good places. Boundary lines falling onto you in good places. Receive, 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 receive. Boundary lines falling onto you in the best place. Enlargement with boundary lines falling to you in the best places. Receive, 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 receive the boundary lines falling onto you in great places. Ah! Trakushika, hika brandi, hitu shai, kamaruza, rika brozi, talikironde, rika rorizia, hira liburosia, lemirokuzia. The boundary lines. Falling onto you in pleasant places. Receive, 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 receive in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Kayada da ba 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 ba. In Jesus' name. This morning, for somebody on this platform, and this one is a very major one, everyone on this platform that is wearing the wrong kind of garment. This morning, I prophesy, I make a declaration of change of garment, of change of garment. Your garment of shame is removed. We are removing the garment of limitation, removing the garment of shame, removing the garment of limitation, removing the garment of shame, removing the garment of limitation. Every garment, you didn't even know. It said in the book of Zechariah, I see Joshua dressed in rags, dressed in rags. Joshua was a high priest. In the natural, it's looking nice. I don't know if you've ever read the description of the clothes of the high priest. It's the color of rainbows that meets in his body. Also, the stones on top of his chest is a color of rainbows representing the 12 tribes. But in the realm of the spirit, it was rags. We tear off the rags of your life. Rags of poverty, rags of limitation, rags of shame. We tear it off, tear it off. Some people do not realize that the rag of arrogance and pride has covered them. Today we tear those rags off. We cleanse your life. We tear those rags off. We cleanse your life. Ah, the rag of uh, this problem was my father's problem. It is now my problem. We tear it off. It is believed that Bartimaeus who was wearing a garment and threw it off when he heard it was Jesus. It is the garment of the association of blind beggars and he threw it off because he knew if this man is who they said he is chess said mercy in hebrew chess said he threw off the garment and cried mercy this morning every garment of blindness garment of limitation garment of poverty garment of limitation something is trying to keep you in a confined area it is coming so strongly every time god wants to lift you he's trying to beat you down i break its power from this morning i break its power from this morning i break its power from this morning i break its power from this morning, I break its power. I remove wrong garments from you. Hikurabasha, Rikari Rosi, Hitali Rimakata, every satanic garment in the name of Jesus. Hikuroraza, Hirabarosh Kaira, Hirabosa, Hiribo Rebo Kayere, Hirabos Kiara, every garment of limitation. I remove it, I remove it, I remove it, I remove it in the name of Jesus. Every garment that God have not placed on you today, we, we, we tear it off, we burn it down in the name of Jesus. The Bible said, put on the garment of play, praise in place of the spirit of heaviness. Everyone hearing me this morning, they're swearing the spirit of heaviness and they don't know. They're carrying the spirit of heaviness. Ah, 
nakaya hikuza hikara rikura rikura hikara hikara bosha hirabozi hirerozi kayerera hikamborozia hirebo ya i command this morning i release the word of god on you this morning i cancel i nullify i cancel i nullify in the name of jesus ho kayerena mose rikalere moka every garment of negativity we tear it of your life wherever you are this morning you need to stay with me right now every evil garment you're wearing it you're looking good and you don't know they are evil garment we tear them 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 negative garments garments of wretchedness and poverty job 13 28 they, ne they recognize people in Bible times by their garment. If you are a virgin who had never known a man, you had your clothing. That was why the sister of Absalom was crying when her brother raped her. Because she can no longer wear it. And everybody will just know. There's a garment for prostitutes. But there's a garment of wretchedness and poverty. And listen, that one, you don't even need anybody to tell you... Uh, when you look out, you just know this is a garment of poverty. This morning, uh, you need to say powerful amen because this is where I'm anchoring uh, this morning's morning glow. Everyone who's wearing the garment of limitation, garment of wretchedness, garment of poverty that the enemy wants to put on you, we tear off! Rikayara, Job chapter 13. I like to read from verse 27. Thou puttest my feet also in stocks. Limitation. And lookest narrowly unto all my paths. Thou settest a print upon the heels of my feet. Limitation. And, and, and he as a rotten thing consumeth as a garment that is moth eaten. Everyone that is wearing a garment that has been eaten, full of holes, moth eaten, garment of wretchedness and poverty. We tear it off. 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 This morning, please, wherever you are, you need to say powerful amen. Every garment that the enemy wants to put on you, that and look, it's not God. That is not God. God does not wear you with poverty. Poverty does not preach the gospel. It is a it is a satanic gospel that say the poorer you are, the better it is. No. Yes, wealth can make some people go away from God, but wealth can also make people draw closer to God and make more impact. This morning, every garment of shame and, and negativity and limitation that the enemy has placed on you, we tear it off. We tear it off. We remove it. The people in the book of Joshua 9, verse 5, the Gibeonites, in order for the children of Israel, to believe they've been traveling a long time, they took their clothes and roughened it and put dirt, dirt on it. So that they can ah, we've been traveling for months and months and months. Please have sign agreement with us that when you get to our country, you won't destroy us. And next day they got to their country. They lied. Because the garment of dirt and shame is the symbol of traveling for a long time in a dusty place. Today, every garment of shame limitation is removed from your life we remove it 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 tie libos we remove it here we remove it here we remove it in the name of jesus we remove it the garment of limitation we remove we remove we remove we remove in jesus name then some people wear the garment of disease it, it, they just move from one problem to the other, one disease to the other. Job 30, verse 18. By the great force of my diseases, my garment changed. It bindeth me about as the color of my coat. By the great force of my disease is my garment changed. It bindeth me about as the color of my coat. This morning, wherever you are, say amen with power. Every genetic disease. 
every garment of disease, garment of shame, garment of wretchedness, garment of poverty that is on you. You didn't even know. People look at you, they see it. We tear off in the name of Jesus. We're moving from your life. It does not fit you. Only beauty fits you. Only greatness fits you. Only testimonies fits you. Nalishka. Nakabaro, Hikaba, Rikari, Zikabo, Rindero, Rikari, Renosia, Hirikaba, Rikarabosha. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, this morning we remove it, 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 we remove it in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. And also this morning. Everyone within the reach of my voice who is wearing the garment of shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Second Samuel 13 verse 18 and 19. And she had a garment of diverse colors upon her. For with such robes were the king's daughters that were virgins apparel. Then his servant brought her out and bolted the door after her. And Tamar put on ashes on her head. And rent her garment of diverse colors that was on her. And laid her hand on her head. And went crying. This morning every garment of shame, reproach. Ah, if it is that it is somebody that took away your dignity, your beauty, your virginity, your blessing, your testimony. God will fight them on your behalf. Jehovah will fight them on your behalf. We restore your dignity. We restore your glory. We restore your blessing. We restore your testimony. Yeah, we restore your favor. We restore your holiness. We restore your, your lifting in the name of Jesus. This morning I declare into your life. Every colorful cloth that God has placed on you. It, you wear it. You wear greatness. You wear goodness. You wear favor. You wear testimony. You wear greatness. You wear favor. You wear testimony. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every limitation placed on you is removed from today. We remove the garment of shame. The garment of reproach. The garment of shame. The garment of reproach. Like a kakako siari. Ayindikota. Some people think that's what's fitting to you. They think that's the what is fitting to you. And they like good things for themselves. Everyone who have looked down at you and thought no good thing is what you deserve. Heaven will surprise them. The Lord himself will remove the garment of shame and reproach and put on you the garment of testimony, the garment of goodness, the garment of greatness, the garment of favor, the garment of blessing. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Ayaba, Hikosa, Rekoto, Tabrado, Shaya, Hikosa, Hikaba, Otari, Hikosa. In the name of Jesus. There's garments of sorrow and depression. Psalm 69 verse 10 and 11. Garment of sorrow and depression. A tear it of your life. Please wherever you are this morning. You need to say amen with power. Garment of reproach. Garment of, uh, of depression. Garment of, of sadness. Garment of shame. We remove from your life. 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 Garment of disease and affliction. We remove from your life. We remove from your life. Mark, the Bible makes us understand. But me was throw it away. I did go this year. We remove it from your life. Garment of sorrow and depression. Psalm 69, verse 10 and 11. We remove from your life. 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 In the name of Jesus. Garments of widowhood. Genesis 38, verse 14 and verse 19. The garment of widowhood that says forever. Your land shall not be married. You will not be happy. You will live forever depressed. Ateteti, Havaranoto, Iki Araba, Irenamasa, Italerema, Tari, Kabrushka, Idari, I release joy unspeakable into your life. Garment of captivity and imprisonment. Second Kings 25, 29. Garment of captivity and imprisonment. Today we remove it from your life. 
na hii katusi harnoshikiada ikirozia garment of captivity and imprisonment is removed from your life in the name of Jesus 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 garment of imprisonment garment of captivity we remove from your life 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 in the name of Jesus garment of captivity imprisonment will remove from your life genesis 41 14 then pharaoh sent and called joseph and they brought him out hastily out of the dungeon they shaved him and changed his garment and he came into pharaoh god of the lord changes your garment you shall no longer look the same you shall no longer be the same your life will be a life of testimony your life will be a life of glory a life of honor and dignity a life of favor and testimony you will stand out. You will be a testimony to your generation. For the hand of the Lord will be upon your life for good. The grace of the Lord will be mighty upon you. The hand of the Lord shall be mighty upon you. You shall stand out. You will be a testimony. You will be a person of glory. You will be a person of honor. You will be a person of dignity. In the mighty name of Jesus, this morning I close by declaring to your life, the, the steps, your steps will be ordered. The instruction of God's leading will become clear in your life. I declare from today you are free. You are liberated. Shackles are broken. Stagnation is gone. Limitation is removed. You will stand in the faith. God will honor you. God will grace your life. You will become great. You will become blessed. You will possess more than enough, more than you require. God will furnish your life with abundance. God will flourish your life with abundance. God will make you a kingdom financier, a kingdom billionaire. Wealth and increase will be in your house. Righteousness will follow you. Your gate will be open continually. You will have no limitations or setbacks. Weapons of darkness will no longer walk in your life. There will be a free flow of the goodness of the Lord in your life. The wealth of nations are coming to you. Kakiko you will receive the gift of men. You will receive direction from God, knowledge from God, grace from God. And everything you set out to do in these ember months shall succeed. Everything you set out to do in these ember months shall succeed. Everything you set out to do in these ember months shall succeed. You will have the goodness of God follow you morning, noon, and night. People will look at you and say, who are you? For we see the goodness and the grace of Jehovah upon you. You will wear goodness. You will live in goodness. You will enjoy the goodness. You will operate in the goodness. You will be blessed by the goodness of God. So shall it be. Kalusu kaibia. Ritika lirunobozia. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I'm sure you were blessed this morning. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Oh, glory to God. A couple of announcements, then the last declaration before we bring the meeting this morning's morning glow to an end. Hallelujah. Let me encourage you about KICC's is College of Excellence. It takes place this evening when there will be a tasting for those of you who want to attend our Bible school. Same thing also this evening, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. We have the Wealth Masterclass, Building Multi-Generational Wealth Through Properties. It is going to be tremendously tremendous. It's part seven and possibly the last one. Don't miss it by any chance. Don't miss it by any chance. You need to register. Too many people pray, they don't take action. They don't know that you have to create what is called the winning combinations. Praying and acting for faith without works won't work. Faith without works will not work. The power, power night in KICC Maryland, Lagos is next week Friday, not tomorrow, but next week Friday we'll have the power night in KICC Maryland, Lagos. Make sure you join us. It's going to be absent. No, no, I think uh, no, not next week. I think it's about two Fridays. 
It's going to be a blessing. It's going to be absolutely a blessing. Outpouring grace will be upon in Jesus' name. Remember this Sunday, Beyond Grounds will have three powerful services. Wherever you are, <laughs> in fact, the one I want to emphasize to you the most is the evening service next uh, this Sunday. This evening service this Sunday, I will be dealing with breaking satanic seals. You know, there is the seal of God that seals you unto salvation. But there are some things they go and seal concerning you and you are unable to come out of it. We're breaking those seals on Sunday night in the evening service. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. In Jesus' name. So, morning, uh, 9 a.m. service. We'll have a powerful session, a new study at the life class. 11 a.m. service. We're going to believe God for the move of the Holy Spirit. For the move of the Holy Spirit is going to be truly a prophetic service. And then we have the big one in Waltham Stone. You will be blessed. You will be favored. Don't miss it by any chance. In Jesus' name. Just before the prophetic word this morning, let me encourage you to keep praying for us. Keep praying for our crusade. We are believing God for an outpouring of the grace of God. 10,000 souls is not a joke. 10,000 souls, one to the Lord, is not a joke. We believe God that this is life crusade. Ikurudu Ibobo will be a season of showing Christ's love through miracles, healings, breakthrough, restoration, deliverance, medical fare, free surgeries, community support, free food, and lots more. We are going to be giving 50,000 bags of rice, 50,000 bags of beans, 50,000 bags of gari, oil, buckets, so different things to thousands of people. It's going to be one amazing, supernatural outpouring in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for us that God will exceed expectation, exceed our dreams. We are ready. God is ready. In the name of Jesus, the pastors in the area are excited. I was with 300 pastors who were praying and dedicating the land uh, during this week. All 300 read the whole Bible within 20 minutes. Can you believe that? They gave each one of us three, three chapters. And we read simultaneously. And we read the whole Bible in 20 minutes to bless the land. Then they anointed the grounds. They prophesied to the grounds and blew the shofar into the grounds. The crusades have started. The demonic realm is failing. The power of God will be manifest. The life of these pastors, their churches, their ministries will never be the same. Growth will, ex will happen. Increase will happen. Breakthroughs will happen. Testimonies will happen. The favor of the Lord will be released. We are believing God for a move of God beyond our own imagination in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. There's still a lot to do. We want to order 30,000 soaps. There's still a lot to do. We want to rent. Uh, 20 buses during the crusade to be going to various areas to bring people to the grounds. Some of them live in very difficult parts to come out to where the crusade will hold. Want to be picking them and dropping, going, want the buses to roll, and we're renting the buses from the government. We want to uh, do all we can that nobody misses. Next week, we want to advertise in about six newspapers, about three or four radio stations, about two or three TV stations. And those kind of advertising is costly. We want to hit the town with, with billboards, all kinds of advertising. We want the city to know that they are about to be overwhelmed by the presence of the Lord. We want Jesus to be Lord. Nine, uh, uh, from Monday to, f to, to Friday, 
200 to 300 surgeries will be taking place. And on the Saturday, the whole stadium will become a, a hospital fair where we would have thousands attended to by 100 doctors and 100 pharmacists, 50 uh, pharmacy technicians, several nurses. Praise the Lord. During all this, we'll also have a two-day minister's conference in the morning session. Simultaneously, when gifts are being given on the stadium, we are having pastors, 2,000 pastors that have been ministered to. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll put 2,000 Bibles in their hand, 5,000 books. It is going to be absolutely awesome, powerful. We believe God for grace upon grace and favor upon favor. We still need loads and loads and loads and loads of, of resources. So if God lays on your heart, I want to take the time to really celebrate. So many of you have responded in most unusual ways. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord favor you. Pray for us that also will not be overwhelmed by the crowd. The nation, it's just interesting that the first of our crusade is coming up at a time when the nation is going through uh, one of the biggest pressures. One of the biggest pressures. Uh, so even this little food we want to distribute, we just pray that we wouldn't have mayhem and chaos in our hands that will have order and people there will be no uh, pushing and stepping on anyone no loss of life in Jesus name pray for us pray for us pray for us we want to be able to do much more than we are even doing but we trust the Lord that it will all result in glory and honor to the name of the Lord Praise the Lord. So, those of you who want to make donation towards the crusade, we appreciate. Towards the medicals, we appreciate. The food, other items being given, the Lord bless you. Clothing, yes, we are. We're yet to pick up the clothing for the men and the boys and girls. We'll do that, I think, either this week or the coming week. Trust the Lord for more finance and making these visions happen. Yes, the Lord will provide and exceed our vision. This first of uh, Christ's compassion to the rural world crusade, this one that opens the matrix, we want to believe God that it will be more than a success. It will be a testimony to the glory of our God. You can respond. You may just look at what is in your hand and you thought, what will this do compared to what I'm hearing Pastor Matthew talk about? But you see, my mother used to say, markets become full by people coming into the market from various corners. From one person here, two people there, three here, four here, seven there. The market becomes full. Let's give, let's support the vision. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We close this morning with Psalm 33, verse 11. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever. The thought of his heart to all generations. May God's counsel stand concerning you. And may you walk in that counsel. May the purpose of God for your life stand in the name of Jesus. May you walk in the enabling thoughts of the Lord into the promised destination. May your life manifest divine mandate. I declare and decree into your life every contrary counsel concerning you shall not stand. They are abolished. God's blessing over your life shall last for generations. For generations. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. God bless you richly. God bless you richly. Buana kubariki. Mnyamishra. Mwariva kukumbriri wamuzita ra yesu. Mkulu mkulu. Agobo Good morning. Saubona.
God bless you, Richly. The biggest compassionate outreach ever.